RadM73 here. Welcome to my playthrough of Subnautica. We're getting started on a black screen and trying to get into our escape pod. Three, two, one. And there goes the ship. Uh oh. So yeah, for uh, the longtime subscribers to my channel, you guys have, you guys know that you know I, I've played uh, some Subnautica early access, you know, back in the day. Um, I don't know if it's been a month yet, but very recently, uh, Subnautica's gone full release, and I thought, you know, now that it is full release, I'll do a playthrough. So of the of the full release, no, this is not the experimental build. Okay, let's pick this up, get this fire out. Ah. Okay, we have everything? All right. Get our pad work in here. Booting in emergency mode. Uh-oh. Head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Okay. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. Let's just get rid of this since I won't be needing that. I will take some food and water. And... A medical kit now the medical kits in the fab the medical kit fabricator these actually respawn so uh, you want to keep those uh, going now the first thing we need to make is uh, we'll probably want to well we need to make a repair tool so we need some silicone some cave sulfur and some titanium um, all which are pretty easy to get we also uh, need a scanner so we're gonna need some copper and also a knife so yeah we need all those things so let's just go out and see where we've landed here um okay the aurora suffered orbital hull failure cause unknown zero human life signs detected no we need to break the limestone Okay, there's some copper already, and shoot, I thought we'd have some uh, metal down here. Oh, here's some metal over here. This is, or titanium, I'm sorry. It's metal salvage. Yes, 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 I know. Can I make a tank of uh, air tank yet though? I think I might need some quartz or something, but we'll see. Nope, I can make a standard air tank. Good. Alright. So now we are off to find some of the other things that we're gonna need. Oh no, please don't tell me I'm way over here. Oh wait. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure I'm within the... Um... Oh, I need a... I'm pretty sure I'm within the radiation zone, which is not good. Alright, let's swim over this way. need a couple of these we'll get try to get three of these bam bam okay still doing good okay there's some oh gosh don't want to be in here with that guy life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes further study recommended Okay, titanium, we've got 
all kinds of stuff. I need one more copper for sure. Oh, and I also need the cave stuff. Which... Obviously, we're going to find in caves. Yeah, we'll probably find some down here. I hope. Oh, gosh. Okay, we got silver. Okay, there's our other copper. Gold, silver. More gold, that's good. Yep, I know. Oh good, we're finding a good amount of lead. That's actually good. Well, if we don't find any uh, copper, or I'm sorry, um, oh, we gotta start swimming this way. If we don't find any um, cave, what is it called? Cave sulfur? Um, I do know where some is. So let's head back. We're gonna drop off what we have at the uh, skate pod here and we're gonna have to kind of move quick because I'm like I said this is gonna be very close to the radiation zone once the Aurora explodes but um, I've actually gotten a decent amount decent amount of um, lead so we might be able to make a lead suit pretty quickly we do oh good Standard, okay, so now we can make upgraded tanks. I don't know if I've got enough quartz. No, we do not, okay. So let's see, tools, definitely want a survival knife. Um, battery, okay, cave sulfur. <clears throat> so the other thing we're gonna need is a battery. we can make with we've got some um, copper already so all we need is a couple of these acid mushrooms we can make a battery and that my friends will allow us to build the scanner <clears throat> the scanner is very important to have Okay, so what do we need? Silicone rubber, we've got that. And then we're also going to need a um, habitat builder pretty quickly. And we just need some glass to get the bigger tanks, but not too worried about that right now. And I want to be heading over this direction towards that little rock outcropping there. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll eventually build my base over in this direction as well. So, yeah. Okay, let's see where I'm at. Okay, gotta go this direction. think yeah yeah so I'm gonna build my base like right over here but we're you know we're not there yet we'll, we'll probably be there by the end of this episode though uh oh we gotta get out of here okay Here's our cave sulfur. Get our glass for our upgraded tanks. Uh oh gosh. We are really super low. Are we going to make it? I doubt we are, but maybe we will. Oh, phew. Okay. All right.
can also get these a uh, couple of these giant coral tubes and when we find the uh, the salt on the ground we can use the salt oh, here's a nodule of something um, we can use the salt to make water so always look out for these uh, big giant these things, whatever they are, with these coral tubes on them. Oh, the game looks so pretty at night. And of course, when I want salt, when I want there to be salt, there is no salt. But that's all right. You look at the caves down there, they're all glowy. <clears throat> It's actually been a really long time since I've had a spawn point this close to the Aurora. I'm not used to it. Okay. So what do we need for... Okay, we can make the repair tool right meow. Now we need a wiring kit and a computer chip. There's the wiring kit. I know I'm going to need copper for the computer chip. Um, so now, oh, let's go ahead and repair this guy up. Okay. Repair the uh, radio over here. Now we'll be able to replay the message. Get another medical kit, and let's go ahead and eat something. Okay, so we got a little bit of instructions there. Uh, hopefully we can find, see, yeah, sea glide fragment. This will be pretty important, uh, getting things going. What's this over here? Oh, this is the grav trap, which I don't really use those, but might as well get them. Okay, nothing there. And we can go around and, you know, scan different things. Uh, oh, let's go make the uh, upgraded air tank. So we'll need to make uh, glass. Oh my gosh. And I didn't even go down and get the table coral samples. Or whatever these are. These are table corals, and we need those to make the uh, computer chips. So let's do that really quick. So there's the computer chip. Okay, now for the high capacity tank, we just have to take our normal tank, put it in our inventory. Go back down, and bam, there's the high-capacity tank. Okay. And we're also going to need to make some flippers. Or fins, I'm sorry, swim fins. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate. Oh, and we need a battery? <clears throat> Need some acid mushrooms for a battery, and then we can make our builder, and we'll pretty much be in the game. We'll, we're in a pretty good position. And I don't even know how long I've been playing, like 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, we will. Oh, we want a rebreather too, don't we? All right. First, the habitat builder, though. And okay, we don't, we can't get access to the um, 
Let's see, we've got some lead, we've got copper. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to do is build a foundation. So we've got the lead for that, but we don't have anything else that I want. Um, so, um, oh, what do we need to do to make the sea glide? Oh, well, I guess first we need to find all the pieces for it. So let's go out and do that. We'll get our scanner ready to scan stuff. What's this? Oh, this is the beacon fragment. We want those. Uh, to be able to create beacons. Um, I was hoping to have another one by now, but that's all right. Oh, here's some air. Okay. Oh, here's some salt. I got to be careful because these guys you don't want to mess with, especially not this early into the game. Okay, silver is good. Uh-oh, something's on to me. Okay, mobile, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Those are pretty important. Um... Okay, we just got another radio transmission. Ooh, here's some more lead, which is really good. Uh-oh. Let's just go over and get this. Okay, more lead. Oh, gosh, where are we? Oh, okay. Was oh, this the cave we were, where we were before? It might be. Okay, here's some more stuff over here. New blueprint acquired. Ah, what the heck? That was weird. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. I guess we better go up and get some oxygen. Just looking around for... Oh, here's another beacon fragment. So we should be able to make the beacons after this. <clears throat> yep. Oh, what's this? Is this the garbage can? Yeah. It's just another container. Um, I don't know if... I've actually never... I've used them before. I've... I've made them, but honestly, I've never checked to see whether the stuff inside them disappears because I always forget about them. <laughs> All right. Where am I going here? I'm going, apparently I'm going this way. I think I want to go this way though. Oh, I see some, is that a sea glide piece or? Yep. Okay, there's our sea glide. Oh, here's some more salt. More copper. Copper is always good. This will be silver or gold, which is gold. Okay, well, let's see. We're doing all right on water. 
Okay, so I think it's up right up here is where I want to build my base. So I'm going to want to put a foundation down up here somewhere. Um, no, not here. A little bit further this way, I think. Or, wait a second, I'm not even anywhere near where I want to build my base. I think it's up here a little bit further. Yep, it's up here. You leave me alone. Yep, right here is where I want to build it. We're going to put this first. I go down? Yeah, like right, right about... Ugh. Uh, why? Why don't you do this to me? Come on now. Where is it? Oh, I kind of need you out over here. Alright, let's just see how this works. Nope, that's... Yeah, I can tell. That is not the right position. Get some... <laughs> Gotta come up for air here. Okay. Um, will this work? No, I still think it's not quite right. Okay, right about here, I think, is where I want it. Ew, gross, diarrhea! Alright, so we need some fluids, so we'll intake those. Alright, so we want to head back... Let's see, I'm probably going to need a couple of these. We have three salts, and how many of these? Okay. Table coral things. Get one. Because I want to make my sea glide, and then we're going to go to an island. Only because I know where it is. Uh, we're going to go to an island and do some scanning so that I can get all of the base pieces that I need <clears throat> to get my base up and going. Come on, come on. I guess I can swim a little bit faster when I'm not holding my knife. That's kind of an important thing to know for the game. <laughs> Hit the radio. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. So we already have the lubricant. <clears throat> And now we can make our sea glide. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration okay. range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Patch. Okay, that requires quartz and not glass. Bleach. Bleach we want to use... Well, bleach we use to make water. So we'll make three of those. Oh, man, we're going to have tons of water when I get done with this. So am I going to have enough room? Yeah, I'll have enough room. Each bleach makes two waters. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Okay. So we'll put, 
One of those in there. Okay, I'm just trying to think. I want to put everything that I don't absolutely need into storage right here. And... <clears throat> We're going to take off to this island way over here. here yep, here's our sea glide. Come on, sea glide. Get, get to it. I probably should have made a beacon, but that's all right. Okay, there's where our base is going to be right there. And, uh-oh. Oh, these are just sea glide fragments. I can come back and scan. You can actually scan those later and actually get some extra titanium off of those. And now we've got another radio signal. And sometimes I used to build bases over here, but they've changed the... Oh, no, it's up here. Sometimes I'll build a base, like, up here, too. And this is where you find the mobile vehicle bay fragments in this biome here. Just surfacing for air. And I'm just looking around for more of those uh, mobile vehicle bay fragments. Here's one. Oh, nope, that's a sea glide fragment, darn it. This will probably be one down here. Yep. And we can make the mobile vehicle bay! So now we... We can't make any vehicles yet, but that's the, like the prerequisite to making the sea moth and the cyclops and the prawn suit and stuff like that. All right, so let's head off. Just want to get out to the island. Now that's uh, lithium. Can't mine it anyway because we don't have the prawn suit yet. <clears throat> but we'll get that soon enough. Now, I really like how they've kind of um, tamed the battery usage somewhat so that you don't, like, you're not constantly burning through batteries like you were back in the uh, alphas and betas. All right, so here's the, the island up here. It's very scary and formidable. And it's going to turn into night here pretty soon. Which is pretty cool because the island looks very pretty at night. Come on, where am I going here? Um, I want to go up this way? Yeah, I think I want to go this way. And there's our rescue pod way out there. And the Aurora.
And let's go ahead and start scanning stuff around here. Now this is a bulkhead. This will help um, strengthen your your the underwater you know pressure capability of your base. Because every time you add new modules, um, yeah, the it just keeps deteriorating. Right, we got some water. Uh, the observatory here. So the observatory is something you want to scan. The indoor grow bed, and it's like t totally dark. Scan all this stuff, all the plants and everything in here. Come on now. Might be kind of hard to, well, hopefully it won't be too hard for you guys to see. Okay, there's the fern and the lantern fruit. The lantern fruit is definitely something that we want to hang on to as well as eat. So we'll get our food right back up to full. And so I'm just going to pick a couple lantern fruit to take with us so that we can plant those when we get back to our base. All right, so there's the escape pod over here and we want to get down to there because that's where the multi I don't know if you can see it you could probably easily see it during the daylight but so sorry guys now one thing you're gonna to want to have your knife out because there's gonna be these little spider things that jump out at you so you'll want to kind of chop at them as they do and kill them before they kill you. There's one right there and he's gonna come at me. Where'd he go? Get over here. Okay, this one's dead. I saw another one down. Up oh, there's one. So we want to uh, scan the exterior grow bed. I'm going to pick up a Chinese potato. Did I scan the? Did I scan the Chinese? Oh, maybe I did. What is in here? Ooh, a stasis rifle fragment. Those are good to have. Oh, a wall planter. Oh, it's <laughs> scanning from the inside. This is the, the multi-purpose room is, is really what we came here for because these are the big base rooms that I really want to use to build my base. And also the purple tablets. What in the world? Want those. For sure. Integrating new PDA data. And then we can just kind of look around, scanning stuff as we need to. Acquired. I don't think there's anything else in here. And technically, I guess we could use the light here. Oh, look at the lantern trees. Aren't those pretty? And I tell you what, guys, in, in virtual reality, if you've got a VR headset, you should definitely play this game in VR. And I might actually do like another walkthrough um, or, or at least some more play in VR. But I've done some um, live streams uh, playing, playing this game in VR, and it's just something to behold. Okay, so we've got Ultra Glide Fin Blueprint. Thing I can scan. Let's go. Get our knife ready because I think. Oh gosh. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. There's literally poop coming out of my butt. Yeah. Oh. Integrating new PDA data. Uh. Oh, good. Huh? The heck am I stuck? Oh, I just can't go that way. Okay. So we've pretty much gotten everything that we've come here for. However, I want to go to this last 
little um, outpost up on this mountain. What in the world? Come on, nah. Hey, the light's coming up. Yay. Here's the base that we were just at. So you kind of know what it looks like. Don't forget to jump right here. Otherwise, you'll fall down. <laughs> I think there's another jump as we get higher up, but I can't remember. There might not be. That might have been it. There might not be anything else up here that I need to scan. Oh, there's the composite plant pot and the... Oh, composite plant pot, apparently. Oh, there's just a PDA up here. Integrating new PDA data. And you, you know, we could read those, but you know, we don't really need to. Ah, what? and I think I will just run down the mountain here. I don't want to go down that way. I go down this way. And I'll just jump into the water and sea glide out of here. And we'll just, you know, I think my base will probably be over here somewhere. Or where I want to build my base. Uh, we don't want to go too deep without the respirator. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, we got a diamond already? Nice. Oh, nice. What in the world is this? Oh, I guess it's just part of the... the landscape. Well, I'm glad we got a diamond already because we will need one for the laser cutter whenever we can get that um, that recipe. All right, come on, where are we? Okay. in this mobile vehicle bay fragments all right warning local radiation readings suggest the aurora drive core has reached critical state quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh, there's a laser cutter fragments we need to find three of these Do we already get this? Oh, that's just another 
Mobile vehicle bay fragment. No, I think the laser cutter stuff is out here. Ooh, let's get this. This. This right here, whatever this is. Silver ore. Silver you kind of want to protect with your life because... It's not very easy to find. Let's just put it that way. Unless there, I'm sure there'll be like, he's full of it. I would love for people to tell me like where I can find tons of silver. Okay. So before we get the respirator, we kind of want to be careful not to really be diving below 100 meters very often. Yeah, see, we'll need the cutting tool to get into there. Oh, here is a piece of... Oh, a bioreactor. I thought <laughs> I thought it was going to be the um, the sea moth. Oh well. Oh, let's get this. Oh, inventory full, really? Oh yeah, we got all that stuff and things. What I really want though is to find more laser cutter bits. Wait, which way are we going? Oh, we're going over here. We're going to go up here and we're going to get some air first though, cuz I have the I have a tendency to hold my breath when I play this game. Like I need to actually have like a respirator on as I play Subnautica. Does anybody else do that or am I just like insane? I'm probably just insane, but you know. See what's in this over here. Oh, good. Laser cutter fragment. Excellent. So we only need one more of those. I want to say I've seen one over here before, but I could be Wong. Is this another bioreactor or is this Cyclops? Oh, scanner room, okay. Scanner, I... Personally, I feel the scanner room is absolutely worthless. That's just me. Oh, oh wait. You missed some oxygen. Okay. What did that say? Cut, oh, cut the... Oh, that's because it's the stuff we need. But we don't need it right now. I'm just looking for, like, those containers in case, you know, we can get a, our, the last bit of the laser cutter. Because we will need that eventually... Okay, good. And I'm getting a weird phone call from somebody, but I'm fairly certain it's nobody I know. Probably just a scam phone. Wait a second, what's going on here? Uh, yep, that's that is correct. And we need another titanium. But never forget that it is not. And we <laughs> didn't get a titanium. Oh, here's a piece of a sea moth. There 
30 seconds. I know, I know, I know. Just give me a titanium. Ugh. There we go. All right. And then we'll also need to make a, uh, oh, where is it? We will need to make a solar panel, which I'll need two more titanium for. Great. <laughs> That's all right. We'll find them. There's one. Let's get two. Ah, copper. Ah, copper's all right. Some titanium right there, but I can't process it yet. Oh, here's something. Titanium, all right. So we'll just like pop him like over here somewhere. Doesn't really matter where you put it. It doesn't have to be like in the line of sight for the um, All right, so we've got this. Now we need to be making a um, fabricator. And we'll probably want to make some uh, lockers as well. So uh, let's see, what do we have here? Okay. Let's just use our sea glide to get over to the uh, escape pod. And I'm hoping, did we, I don't know if we got the uh, recipe for the uh, radiation suit yet, but hopefully we did. Okay, play the radio message. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, let's see what else do we can we get yeah, to see. CCC. So we'll need a locker. We want a radio and the uh, fabricator. So let's see. I'm going to drop this guy off. Because we'll want a couple table coral samples. Or actually, I think we just need one. Oops. Yep, there we go. All right. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Well, good. It indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Definition is short of wearing your routine. Your uniform muscle developer will reach a supercritical state. 18 minus 10. Uh oh. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. No. <laughs> All right, so that is the Aurora Drive Core exploding, and we are going to want to make a radiation suit ASAP <clears throat> so that we can get over there and repair it.
The radiation suit has been added to your vehicle database. All right. First things first is we need fabricator here. Then let's see. Let's put a radio. Like, let's see. Can we put one up here? And we already have another message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, these seeds are rotten, but that's all right. Because they can be rotten. Uh, let's see. What do I need in order to make... Let's see. We need a rebreather, but we need the radiation suit. So, two fiber mesh. I think we need... Let's see. Where's the fiber mesh? It should be up here somewhere. Alright. Well, we'll go and get some fiber mesh right out here. So you want to go, it's, oh, it's so dark right now. This stuff right here is the fiber mesh, so we're going to go up and so we can, the creep vine, that's it. One, two, three, and four. That should give us the fiber mesh that we need to make the radiation suit. Yep, there's the recipe for fiber mesh. We just had to, you know, get acquire some and and we were all good all right two lead another radio message high priority automated message from aurora live pod 13 coordinates attached live pod is carrying Priority passenger. Yogi Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we need a wiring kit. Do I have enough silver? Yep, for. We want a respirator. We have to go out and get some more. Um, of this stuff. Uh oh. Got two. Yes, we do. Okay. Did I make? Oh, maybe I didn't make the wiring kit. Rebreather. Now, this, basically, the rebreather, you know, almost doubles your oxygen capacity when you're underwater. Um, typically, uh, we'll wear it whenever we're not in a radiation zone. So, um, let's see here. Life pod 13. Life pod 17 and life pod 3. So life pod 17 is not really too far away. Let's go and check it out. Stranded near a cave system and under attack. What was that? Oh. Hey, you leave me alone. Okay, here's another bit of the sea or sea moth. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything around here. Other than the piece of the sea moth. I'm just 
trying to kind of look around here, but I'm not seeing much. Oh, I see a couple of these nodules, which is always good because they have stuff that we need. The little nodule things there, they usually have um, higher end bits like uh, gold, silver, um, lead, even though you wouldn't think lead is a higher priority ore, but in this game it is. Not sure there's much in here that we can get that we need. Need ah, scanner room fragment. You leave me alone. Ouch. Wait, what was this? Oh, metal salvage. Yep, let's get that. Oh, another piece of a sea moth, and we'll be able to make the sea moth after this. Boom! Bioreactor. We'll get that. So I'm not I I'm typically happy with just using um the um the solar panels. Oh, I want a stasis rifle fragment. Scanner room. Or not the stasis rifle, the uh, cutting tool. That's what I really want. Seamoth fragment, we got that already. Oh, what's in here? Nothing. Ugh. Looks like there's some, uh... Let's just go up for air here. Looks like there were some... Things... Whoops! see how long we're doing okay come on oh yes 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 all right laser cutter fragment bam so now we can uh, head back to the base which is probably over in this direction somewhere. I should... I'll make a beacon. I'll make a beacon, too. <clears throat> and then we're pretty much going to be, you know, ready to continue on into the next episode. Where hopefully in the next episode we'll, um, we'll go to the Aurora. We will take care of the drive core. You know, repair that so that it, you know, the, the radiation goes away eventually. And and we'll get all the like goodies. We'll get like the prawn suit um, recipe, and uh, I'm gonna have to make some fire extinguishers to take in there. Uh, we'll probably need like three or four of them. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. First of all, let's get the titanium. Laser cutter. Oh, diamond. Oh, I need another diamond. Well, we're going to have to find another diamond. That's for sure. Um, let's see here. Oh, I know what I need to build. The indoor grow bed. And we want that because we need the food. Whoops. So we'll just move these over into the indoor grow bed. And they will start growing. And that'll pretty much be like our, you know, major source for food. Um, you know, moving forward in the game. And uh, let's see. Oh. Let's make a beacon. And we'll go ahead and deploy that. Just drag it down to one of our quick bar slots. And I'm just going to put it underneath the base somewhere. Boom. And then we can edit the beacon name. I'm just going to say base. All my base are belong to me. 
And there we go. And so we'll see that beacon on the map uh, whenever we um, need to find our way back here. All right, guys. Well, that's probably about an hour. I'm going to say goodbye, and we'll see you back in a future episode of Subnautica. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out, watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of Subnautica. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. I am Bradham73. I will see you next time. Bye for now.